Hi, I'm Jared. Hi, I'm Mari. And we're going to have a frank conversation. <laughs> we didn't play this game the right. The first round of this game. The first generation of this game. Because we played all three rounds. Yeah, and we played all three rounds. We played all three rounds, never once checked the website version of the app. Mm -mm. And then read through them all really quickly. Yeah, so that's on us. That's our bad. Yes. We, Normally, still, we still gave this game... High scorers, high scorers, so it's not... Thank you for not spoiling it. <laughs> I was going to spoil it, and then I was like, wait. <laughs> we still gave this game high scores, so watch till the end. It's very interesting. Um, and watch our other videos where we actually do everything yes. else. Yes, generations two and three, right. they are right. Which is Was, to say, we mostly didn't make yeah, it. Make we mostly mistakes. didn't me mess up. But we did mess up a lot in generation one. So, I would encourage you to watch generation one, and then see how we messed up. But then go into Generation 2 and 3 knowing that we're going to do it correctly. Mm -hmm. We still had a lot of fun in Generation 1. Yeah. It's just we could have had more fun. Yeah. And uh, as a reminder, we're just two people playing games. We're not, you know, pros. We're just editing stuff and mm -hmm. saying hopefully you like it. Yeah. So enjoy. Enjoy. Hey, look at that guy. And that's where it's going to cut into, hi, I'm Jared. <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm Jared. Sorry if I am not 100% today, guys. I'm not feeling great. But I want to film. That's a real long name. Huh? That's a real long name. Do you have a short one people can call you? Marty. About? Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> we're from The Broken Seal, and today we're going to be playing My Father's Work. More specifically, the cost of disease scenario that they have. Scenario, if you like to be like that. Um, funny enough, I backed this on Kickstarter, came with all the cool deluxe stuff. Like, look at these little bottles. Yeah, the bottles are cool. I want to use these for like D&D &D potions. <laughs> uh, but the app that you have to have to play the game is not finished. So we're using a preview. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Give me that. So yeah, like I said, the app is broken. And now you can actually see what I'm talking about. So we're using a prototype that they have that they specifically note has some out of date in, uh, terminology. Uh, and specifically note that it is a preview edition. But nonetheless, we're going to use it because I want to play the game. Two players. So we have two players. Why don't you read that? As siblings and an influential family of Eastern European descent, the two of us have received a non-insignificant portion of our family's estate. Portion. portion. Before we begin, let us make a historical fiction more engaging by providing our names. So, do you want to be player A or do you want me to be player A? You be player A. All right. My family name will be... It's your name. Well, I, I'm going to give it a family name. That's cool. I'm gonna name it Hawthorne. It's not your family name, it's your name. It says, enter your given name. Yeah, Hawthorne. Isn't given name like your family name? No, it's your name. Like my first name? Yes, but I don't think you have to put your actual first name. Well, no. All right, well then I'll be Arston. Arston Hawthorne. Welcome to my father's work, Arston. Our warmest regards. Now, what's your name? Player B. Penelope. Emily. Click, click it. Amelie. Amelie. Should it be Amelie or Emily? Amelie. Amelie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome to my father's work, Amelie. Click to continue. Now that our given names have been established, we must also search our recollection for the name of a village which our vast estates overlook. Considering the myriad of small towns in the Hungarian countryside, it would be unmetrably um, forward to not allow the group a chance to collectively name the place they will now inhabit. Click here to name the village. We should name it like... We, name it like a BTS band, or like a, like a, a K-pop band. And then gave up and like it, our village will be named 17 because there's 34 people in there and each of them feel like they're stop talking about 17 <laughs> like that each of them feel like they need two pairs to exist i love k-pop stop talking about k-pop like that only 17 people <laughs> Kiwi, i'm not gonna pick you up throw in that chair i'm I'll gonna call it waterberg 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 if you're watching this recording and you're like, why doesn't Marty capitalize things? <laughs> it's a question I, I never, have a lot too. I never capitalize things. Waterberg. Cool. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And please do excuse our forgetfulness. Of course, Waterberg is an appropriate and fitting moniker for a place you can important 
scientific research. In fact, sure to remember this name. Mark my words. I'll put I'll put what they say on the screen here, just in case you know people can't hear bodies. Choose a scenario for two players. The cost of disease. Preparations. Complete the standard setup for two players as shown in the rulebook. Note that the angry mob track and starting player will be set by the storybook in the coming pages. Then retrieve the cost of the disease scenario box, which will contain all components needed for the story. As a storybook progresses, it will ask you to put items into play from this box. Be sure to keep it nearby. A forward. Herein contains a historical amount of peculiar lineage, lineage, one that spans multiple generations and by all account will continue to fascinate historians for many years to come. I have endeavored to provide as complete as a scholarly history as one could provide given the conflicting accounts and whims of hearsay. While many of the details Haunting to the imagination as they may be stretch the very limits of our human understanding. It is my hope that this text and the accompanying research materials procured will provide evidence as their truth. The harrowing and potentially supernatural series of events has the capacity to shape the very foundations of a scientific world as we perceive it. With difference to the fellowship that commi commissioned this explicit work, though I have never met with these generous benefactors, I humbly submit this biographical account in its entirety and swear by the veracity of the contents within. In good health, Dr. Ensign Ben Wallace. The siblings arrival to claim their considerable inheritance was met with indifference of a, the, with the indifference of a murky countryside, gray and overcast. The sky was heavy with moisture, but could not crack into a tempest. As if heralding the unfortunate circumstances to which they would soon find themselves. Upon researching the village, a foul reaching. Set, about reaching the village, a foul scent tinged the air as teams of horses pulled the charcoal wagons like a silent, fu silent funeral procession through the muddy streets. Emancipated peasants shielded their faces from the ashen gloom, seemingly unbothered by the display, and went about their somber activities uninterrupted. Several... <laughs> I'm showcasing my bottle. Keep going. <laughs> Several canvas-bound <laughs> carts lined the edges of the main road. The dismal gray skin of a human foot sometimes dangling freely from a rip in the bad brick. Rip. The yellow fever had struck the village, and for several weeks, any visit to the to its somber limits forced the young heirs to keep a cloth handkerchief about their mouths and nostrils to protect from the miasma. 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 While they were remiss to admit it, this seemed to be perfect macabre backdrop in which to advance their father's dreadful business. The prevailing mood, while the prevailing mood in the village was one of morose caution, the young entrepreneurs saw potential in the darkened streets. A particularly ambitious individual could lift this gray village into a thriving city. Perhaps even an aristocrat with coin to spare could make a persuasive argument as to its direction. As the kindred surveyors and the dreary countryside from behind the iron gates of their estates, they watched the billowing mist move slowly across the valley. The townsfolk stirred as a disquieting laugh echoed down from the hillside. They were excited to begin their father's work in earnest. Ooh, that's a lot of reading. Mm -hmm. Dubious battering. Within days, bartering. bartering. Within days of their settling to their spouse's liking, local diocese sent a messenger to speak with each of the heirs about their father's charitability towards the deceased, or lack of thereof. Or lack thereof. The bishop entreated them to donate precious time and money to help aid the sick at the church. Having an extensive background in biological studies at the university, the youths proudly offered their scientific services in subduing the ep epidemic. The bishop was unenthusiastic about the response and pressed them to change their mind to no avail. Retrieve the dubious bartering cards from the scenario box. Shuffle them and give each player a dubious bartering card return any remaining to the box. This card is placed face up near the estate and is activated each time the list of action is taken. All right, click to continue. Retrieve the storybook tokens. I got them. They're over there. Place one token on space three of the sanity track. One token on space three of the sanity track. Place one token on space four of the creepy track. One token on space four of the body track. When a player piece reaches one of these tokens, they will click on the appropriate link and receive a special message for reaching this achievement. Ooh. Angry mob setup. Place, place a suspicion marker on space seven and the angry mob token one space to the left. Ooh. Okay. The suspicion marker represents the 
furthest right that the angry mob can move during a generation. Mm -hmm. This marker stays in the same location throughout the current generation, and the angry mob token can never be moved onto or past this marker by any actions or abilities during gameplay. Set up. Turn to page one of the Village Chron Chronicle. Right. So before we do that, retrieve the heart tokens. These are the works that our fathers left us, mm -hmm. or our father left us, left us. There's also like a cool little graphic on the back. Mm -hmm. It says, for our first game, just pick the one that you think looks cool. I'm going to do Time Machine. All right. And I'm going to do... Probably going to be the giant spider chariot. But, oh, man, that looks cool. Oh, no. Okay. Teleportation. <laughs> All right. So we've gotten that. Turn to page one. Page one. Page one. Page one has been turned. Retrieve the heart tokens from the scenario box. Heart tokens. Keep them in a supply near the board. Near the board. Give the start player player marker to Amelie. Your version of our father was Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess also for me, because you have time, I have teleportation. Mm -hmm. Our father was Doctor Who. <laughs> We've just now figured it out. I have teleportation. She has the actual TARDIS. We're going to combine them together and get, get timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly. Okay. So you have the start player? Yes. All right. What does it say? Build hospital? Mm hmm The church can no longer handle the influx of the diseased and needs to expand their facilities. Each time a player visits the church, they may donate funds and assistance towards building a new hospital by paying money to the supply. Depending on the amount, zero, one, or two, the player will receive one, two, or three heart tokens and lose one, two, or three creepy. Oh, sweet. We can just pay nothing and get it. Do you, you do not pay extra for placing a piece if another player has already placed at the church. Oh, sweet. At the end, at the end of, of generation, the player with the most heart tokens will gain five victory points. Attracting attention, if each player reaches the fourth space on the creepy track, click here. The mark of genius, if each player reaches a third space on the sanity track, click here. This is a second round of it. Okay. So we can ignore that part for right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll put this to the side because we won't need it until we need it, basically. Okay. Um, the key thing for us to remember, if you can remind me, because I know you don't know what it does, but the whole thing with not having to pay if we go to the hospital, mm -hmm. that part's important. Um, so you get an A, a B, and a C to start. I got an A. Yes, you got a B and a C. Then... At the start of the game, of the generation, we get, uh, so you see your storage shed? Mm -hmm. Gain one resource of your choice. Choice. There are two types of resources. One is knowledge, these cubes. Mm -hmm. One is these things up here. A breakdown of them are on here. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. So like, if you need, like if, if uh, cause the things in your hand right now are, um, uh, experiments that you can do mm. and so on the left hand side so for instance this one here mm -hmm. says you need that to do it yeah so you could start with chemicals if you wanted to do that the a experiments mm -hmm. which are listed on the bottom or on the back side they uh will always generate these when you complete them okay so that like if you need knowledge that's a good way to get it the c ones will give you victory points but they're harder to do and b they didn't really tell me so i don't know what to do <laughs> um so at this point we can take And then what did like these these do? Oh, so because this is a C level one, mm -hmm. to do a C level one I have to have an A and two B's. Right. Okay, so for the time machine I have to have A, two B's and three C's. Yep. Got it. A, two B's, three C's, because it's a D level experiment. Which basically just means that it's you know, the hardest you can do. Okay. So you get to pick first what I want uh, bodies. You want bodies? There you go. Thank you. I uh, what are these? What are all these things? I don't know any of these things. None of these things make sense. I was not explained a single thing. What, 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 what would you like? To the know? whole board. Okay, <laughs> this is our estate. Okay, we are siblings. Yes. So we have different houses. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> this here, the quarters, is where our characters reside. Okay. Then underneath it is the perform. That's like our experiment or labor uh, lab laboratory. Laboratory. I got it out eventually. Um, that's where we would go to do experiments. Okay. The estate affairs 
these are basically locations you can send to people to go to, and then you can do the things at the location. Okay. Estate Affairs is where you can either get new um, experiments or get money. And then the record knowledge is so you can write things down in your journal for future generations so that they can have some of the knowledge that you gained. And what's in, what's this? Those are the, the your journal. Okay. So um, like this represents I, your journal pages. We're going to put this. This is just, that's just in your supply. So like up here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a cat or an animal. Some of the animals are cats. Nice. Um, well, not nice. We, we, we killed them. We killed them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, nice. All right, so we did that. Then we gained $3. $3. They're metal. Premium upgrades, y'all. They are metal. Then you can draw a card from any available deck. A. And I will go with A as well. Then finally, you take your action. So starting with you. This is where it gets a little tricky. Mm -hmm. On the, damn, it's not on there. I was hoping they would give us a breakdown of the actions that they can do. Um, oh, here it is. So you see on your, um, the top, the courtyard or quarters, it has like a little circle mm -hmm. or like, it's like circle with a slash through it. Mm -hmm. So either your spouse mm -hmm. or if eventually when you unlock them, your servant, mm -hmm. they can do anything in tech. Okay. That's what these these are town spaces. The estate or the, the square mm -hmm. can be anything on the estate. Okay. Yourself, which is the hexagon, mm -hmm. can go to town. And whenever they go to the town, they take mm -hmm. two actions. So like if you need, let's say, two dead cats or two mm -hmm. dead bodies, you get two of those. Um, they can also do anything on the estate. So they're, you can do anything. Do all these people do everything? No. Okay. You... Mm -hmm. Can do two things. No, no, no. But can everyone go do their things? Oh, you do one at a time. Okay. Yeah. So it matters because like, let's say you go, let's say you go to the church mm -hmm. and then I go to the church. Normally I would have to pay extra because you're already at the church, mm -hmm. but this special thing lets us so we don't have to. Oh. Uh, top. Yeah. So yeah, uh, normally it costs extra. So seeing what cards you have in your hand, mm -hmm. seeing what your main thing over there is, mm -hmm. where would you like to go first? Here. Okay. So she is sending her yourself yeah. to the park. To get two. Yes, you get two this. chemicals. Mm -hmm. These are the chemicals? These are oh the chemicals. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Amazing. I kind of wish that they had blue or like something yeah. inside of them because, yeah. especially since the symbol is blue, but you know. So then that's the end of your action. Mm -hmm. My action. I will send... I'm gonna send my spouse to town and I will, I'm gonna quiet down, no, I'm not gonna quiet down, you know how I do. Oh, we can't get this, this room. What? What's yellow? Yellow is Engineering. So we have no engineering knowledge. Damn. Rip. Fuck, I can't build a time machine. Uh, well, yeah, you're not gonna. That's that's. Remember how I told you there's like three parts oh, of yeah. this. That's like third hour level of play. You're not gonna be doing that anytime soon. <laughs> um, I'm gonna send my spouse. I think the traveling caravan. Question. Yes, ma'am. Does it take three hours to play this one scenario no, or no, the no. whole scenario? Because. Basically, we're going to do this whole thing. Once mm -hmm. we finish it, we go to the second one. Or we go to middle oh. of our life, and then when you go to late of our life, then we die, and then our kids take over. Okay, so it's... So basically, we're playing nine rounds. Yes. You got it. You got it. You're, you're a smart mm -hmm. cookie. Uh, so I want to go to the traveling caravan. Oh, it's a cult. So a cult can be used for anything, but you get... You you creep out the villagers if you go there. Mm -hmm. So you, creep, you move up the creepy trap. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go there. <laughs> Because occult knowledge can be used for anything. Mm. So I gain some occult knowledge. But people think my wife is creepy because she came onto the she she came out. <laughs> um I'm gonna send my husband to the church. Okay. So at the church, would you like to donate money? I'm gonna donate one dollar. Alright, so you donated one, which allows you to do what? Um it gets one is two hearts. You get two hearts? And and lose one two or three creepy. I don't have any creepy. You have no creepy, so that's good for you. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it would have been better if you had some, but you don't, 
people don't think you're creepy. It's a good thing. Okay. Now that you're also at the the church, um, yeah, that, that's it. Because I there there's something else that sometimes happens at the church, but mm -hmm. with this, not today. Not today. All right, it's your turn. Yes, it is. Okay, we can also build things over here. Mm -hmm. If we go to the builder's office, we take one of these. You pay the amount, and then you get effects that they have. Oh, okay. So to record knowledge, what do you need? Uh, so to record knowledge, you go to the location. Mm -hmm. You spend that specific. So like if it's a blue uh, chemistry, mm -hmm. you have to spend chemistry knowledge. Mm -hmm. But then you get to move your thing over. Ah. So then the benefit of that is that you will always have at least one blue cube when you go to complete an experiment. Mm -hmm. But... If you get it to the second level, you get always uh, always active effects. Okay. So it helps you. Plus, at the end of a genera uh, at the end of a generation, mm -hmm. all of our money leaves because uh -huh. we're new people. Uh -huh. Everything else resets except for the journal because the journal gets passed down to our next generation. Ah. So and then to estate affairs, what do you do here? When you go to estate affairs, you get to add two mm -hmm. um, experiments mm -hmm. or get one money. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. I'm actually, so I was trying to figure, oh, I already did it. You're right. It's your turn. Yeah. I'm going to have my, that was my spouse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have my caretaker go to a state affair so I can get some money. I'm going to have my caretaker go to a state affairs so I can get some money. Can you reach that for One me? second. <laughs> there you me. go. I will go to. How the, does the generation end? Uh, so once we, I mean, how does how actions, does yeah? Once how, all of our actions have completed, mm -hmm. then that finishes the round. Then we move to middle. Okay. Then we finish all the rounds. Mm -hmm. Goes to middle or late. Then we die, and it ends the generation. Okay. All right. I, as myself, will come here to the builders' hall. Not glamorous because I'm not going to be able to do two things. But I am going to spend four to make the clockwork lab. Now we have the scenic overlook. And I didn't even have to tell you to do that. So mm -hmm. when you build, it's always left to right. Mm -hmm. It matters because after three, you have to start paying mm -hmm. or getting rid of an older one. Ah. Yeah. So uh, because I did it, I gain one gear now. And then at the start of each generation, I gain two gears. Mm -hmm. uh, so everyone is gone. End of a round, servants on the insanity, which doesn't matter for us, they would become lost. Return all your pieces back to your quarters. So all yours are white. All mine are black. Um, pass the start player token clockwise. Then discard these two. Slide these two down. Add two more. We have the modern art gallery and private study. The private study is good because it counts as a seat. Mm -hmm. This one, anything that's on the left side like that means at the start of a generation, you have to pay for that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, all right, so I'm first now. I will, because we're, you know, we're, we're middle age now. Mm -hmm. I'm, getting, I'm getting up there. I need to start fulfilling my father's wishes, unlike my sister. Um, I'm going to go to the park, me personally. Can my um, guy perform an experiment? Your yourself. This guy. Um. Yes, because he can do anything at the estate. Okay. So I did my action. I got two knowledge at the park, or two chemistry, biological chemistry knowledge. What is this? The town hall that moves this oh. over. So in case you were, they were getting closer to being like, kill that, that creepy ass person over there. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, I go to the town hall and calm them down. Okay. Do they need to be calmed down right now? They do. They don't. They are kind of like, this is the, the, the calmest they can be. Mm -hmm. So right now they're a little irritated, okay. but it's not, it's not really like a risk to us. I'm going to have my fella. Perform an experiment? Perform an experiment. Okay. Place yourself, your caretaker, or two servants on the uh, action and pay all the costs in the upper left corner of the experiment you want to perform. I pay one potion, one body. 
and perform body purification. <gasps> body purification. While initially cathartic, I was ultimately disappointed with the effects of boiling water on a decomposing tissue. And I lose one sanity. Which is over here, but you're already, you're at max. No, I, I Oh, gain one sanity. I gain one sanity. Okay. Yeah, so place your completed experiment face up near your state and gain all the rewards or penalties. I gain a blue cube and a gray cube. Nice. Blue cube. Gray cube. I should have looked at what my things give me because that would have made more sense. And then where do I put this? Uh, so put it up here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Madi has completed, or what, Ar Ariel? Um, um, Amelie. Amelie. Amelie has completed her, her action. Uh, I like what you did, I'm gonna send my caretaker to perform an experiment and we shall make, I thought this had erotic words. I... <laughs> We're gonna do <laughs> the stimulative research. Created the superior cup of wine. Nope. Created the superior cup of coffee, strong notes of almond, plum, and various chemicals around the lab. So in doing that, I gain two more knowledge. Uh, increasing anything on the occult always mm. gives you one of these okay. because you're doing occult things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come and get two pets. Oh, she's killing a whole bunch of cats. Let's see what you get. What are those? Frogs? A deer and a frog. All right. So no cats. Madi's not as evil as my person. Uh, I am going to... Send my oh can my wife would have, oh the wife can only do town, well, <laughs> I won't be as good as my sister this round. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here because I don't like that you have all this. Oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> Never mind. You can give zero money and get one heart. I'll give zero money and get one heart. <laughs> I'm good. I swear. Also, I would go down on the insanity, but I. I know, oh, one on creepy. Oh, I am creepy. There we go. All right, that's my turn. And I'm going to send my husband. What's your husband's name? Reginald? Husband. Husband. <laughs> to the blacksmith. You have some knowledge of engineering. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. And sadly, our middle ages have passed already. Just in Damn. a blink of an eye. And we're old fuckers now. Uh, end of regeneration. Oh, you know what? Start of a round. <laughs> we should have gotten three. I could have. All right, so here. Hold on. Hmm. You're supposed to get three? Yes. Don't roll off. <laughs> How much money do you have over there? Three. So. There you go. No, you're going to keep one. Oh. Because <laughs> of math. I don't know. Right? How math three plus works. three. This six. All right, so. <laughs> at the end, when I, when I gave nothing, I would have instead given two. So then you get three. So I get three hearts. Two hearts, hearts. Then, start of a round, we get another three. You're just rolling in it over here. I'm rolling in cash. You can build. Hell yeah. We lose these two. How do we build the hospital? You also just click off of it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're just donating to we're just donating. Yeah, we're donating money. Okay. So when we go there with nothing, we're just donating good. And we call our people back. Yes, and you're first. Yes. Okay. I'm going to send... Reginald. Um, Bean. Is that your husband? Oh, no. your, your caretaker? <laughs> I'm going to send Bean. I want Bean to be all generations of your caretaker. Is Bean is going to create steam propulsion. Bean does all the work in this house. Bean does everything in this house. Oh, wait, hold on. We're also able to draw a card. Oh. We probably should have draw, drawn another one because we didn't do it at the beginning of our late middle. Okay. So. Okay. Bean is going to create steam propulsion by using a deer and a gear. A deer and a gear. He pulls. He pulls it. He goes. And the gear goes. Oh. Just need to swap this real quick. When I went to the park that one day, I got actual potions and not just chemistry knowledge. Mm. Okay, can you put those away for me? I was asking because you, you. Well, I was creating. I had a my show, hand out at first, and I get two greens and a yellow. 
when we're not recording, this can be much closer to us. <laughs> for Two all greens. You. Oh. And a yellow. For Jared. all you folks out there. Two of hearts. Two hearts. They beat as one. As one. <laughs> all right. I'm going to... I'm going to send my... My caretaker, whose name is Penny. Penny's going to go and perform an experiment. Because Penny's okay with weird shit, apparently. Uh, Penny will... Ooh, that's way cooler. What did, what, what did we get? I didn't read that out loud. We have formaldehyde. You may hold one additional completed experiment between generations. We have the distillery. Gain one chemical at the start of each generation. Gain two chemicals. And the modern art gallery. After completing an Airbnb experiment, regain one sanity. Or this one counts as a C. I can't. Oh, I can do that. Penny is going to build a walk-in refrigeration unit. The, bio, the diabolical metal coils within will keep many insidious groceries from spoiling. So it do costs... Do you have a yellow? Excuse me. It costs one potion mm -hmm. that Penny has brewed miraculously. One feat of engineering that she knows very well. A little bit of chemistry knowledge and a splash of a cult. That's why I said a cult is always good. Oh, is a cult... Um... A cult is wild. Wow. Uh, two wild hearts, two wild hearts, we need <laughs> as one. And with my cult knowledge, I gain one place of whatever I want. I'm going to count, I'm going to grab that one because you have more money than me. <laughs> That's my turn. Oh, fuck. I don't know what I want to do. I want yeah. this one. Do it for the A on it. Does it have to be a completed A? Or yes. an A in your hand? Okay. So I'm going to have... So my... it might do well for you to separate your completed, like how mm -hmm. I have like an A and a B. I know, my, both of them are A's. Okay. Um, I'm going to no, have sorry, I'm a little my bit husband <laughs> come perform an experiment. Uh, can your husband perform an experiment? No, he can't. Because he is a town. He's a townie. Oh, he's a townie? Yeah. Husband. That's where you have to start thinking about it. Do you want to send yourself to go do an experiment? Do you want to go to the farmer's market and get some kids? I mean, uh... Ki uh pets <laughs> husband we'll get some gears well you get oh no the husband mm -hmm. he just gets one there you go thank you i i think i shall should i maybe should i complete this <laughs> I'm gonna. It's Wednesday. Why do you look at her phone into that? I did. <laughs> I did. I'm gonna send my wife. My wife's name is so that's Penny. My wife's name is Penelope. Penelope will. Penelope will go to the farmers market and come back with a pig. What is A to B, B, B to C, C? I honestly don't know why they have that. Okay. It's confusing to me. I'm going to perform an experiment. A faithful companion. What's the flavor text say? Um, trained golden retriever to obey and execute commands through love and several blood rituals. <laughs> several. <laughs> so I get that. Well, what do you, you got to pay? Oh, I got to pay. You were real quick to point out I had to pay stuff and then Two forgot about it on yours. Biology. Okay. One occult. And one animal. A dead animal. And an A. Okay. Do I have to pay an A? No, you don't. You just have to have completed an A. And then I get this plus sign. The plus sign means gain. Oh, no. Oh, you gain the square. No, I gain the circle. You gain a servant mm -hmm. from the loss who goes here. You know what the best thing about that is? I have another turn. You have another turn. And my sanity goes down one. No. Yes, it does. Well, you were experimenting on animals and your sanity goes down? Because I made a friend. It's, it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm over here uh, scrimping <laughs> with what little I have. Well, that's not fair. I made a friend, Jared. You made literally. Possibly. <laughs> you don't know my story. Um. 
Well, I, need I guess two servants who make stuff. Well, what did the servants do then? Okay, they can go to town. Yes. Well, I'm gonna go to the church then. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna spend three dollars to get three hearts. Do I have to spend four dollars then if I go there? No. Normally, oh, okay. Yes. You would have to. It's always a flat rate of mm -hmm. one, but because of that, no one mm -hmm. has to pay. So I'm gonna pay three dollars to also get three hearts. Someone's copying. Two dollars. It's two. It's zero, one or two. What did I pay? I don't know what you paid. I just gained three, so I paid two. You hope you did. Editor, did Madi <laughs> screw us over? I, I said it, I'm not supposed to keep track of you. I said out loud what I did. I'm not your keeper. And Madi said, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, that is the end of the generation, or of the, yeah, of the round, mm -hmm. which over there. Uh, so we didn't, neither of us reached that. So scroll down. At the end of the generation, the player with the most heart, can, heart token gains five BP. So I have, let's count them up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six heart tokens. I have five. All right. I got the most heart tokens. I gained five victory points. These are our victory points trackers. I don't know actually if we, I'm just going to keep mine because I don't know if they go away. It doesn't say to go away. Okay. All right. Uh, second round event, election season. Political pandering may require more than simply a silver tongue and a bright smile. Be sure to have some extra capital on hand as the need may arise. Then do I hit next round? Not yet. There's, there's a really weird statement in there. Like before you go to a new generation, you have to like read this. Is that it? Oh, wait. We should have been going to the round. Next round. Yeah, click that. Because we, we we already did a round. You want me to read it? Yeah. We fucked up a bit. Okay, the small village certainly offered a degree of seclusion. And a minute minute. Amount, a minute amount of rustic charm on the days when gang, gang, yes. gang, gangrous bodies of the afflicted were not carted through the streets. But in accordance with this anonymity, it did not easily provide, accordance with this anonymity, it did not easily provide the luxuries generally afforded to the whims of two young aristocrats and their spouses. The family was overjoyed then to receive a letter from some of their most trusted colleagues. However, this joy abated yep. when they detailed an opportunity to offer wardship and tutelage to unfortunate youths failing in their studies. While the interruption was exasperating, an additional hand would allow them more time to focus on important work and to avoid the aromas of local peasantry. We should have gotten another servant. Each player pays <sighs> one and gains a servant from the lost places in their quarters. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we're gonna fiddle this about because that would have happened Just, we get in one the middle now. of our life. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I pay one. Servant. And I get one now. Servant, I'll pay one. Skip to the next one. Click to yellow fever, middle years. Yep. Yep, this one's still. No, no, no. So that, that would have been our middle year. We mm -hmm. just played through it. Mm -hmm. So now read that whole thing. It's the same thing. The church can no longer the hand Oh, it's the same thing? Yeah. It's the same thing. So at the oh, end Oh, that would have been each. So you had gotten the first round, you had the most hearts. Yeah. So you would have gotten five then. One, two, three, four, five. And, and then, then middle, you. would it, would I was I middle end? Yeah, because yeah. you didn't go in the middle. Mm -hmm. So then I get ten. Okay. All right. Mark of genius. No one did. Uh, le election season. Political pandering may require more than simple. Oh, it's still that's mm -hmm. the same thing. Here at the end round for a special event. All players complete. Da da da. After the untimely death of the current mayor and the previous three, the town was once again embroiled in politics. While several mediocre businessmen had their hats thrown into the arena, the family sensed a relentlessness in the small village as they searched for direction forward. Having been raised with an affinity for friendly competition, it was decided that governance would be a droll leisure activity for the family. They decided to use their influence to sway the election. This was especially pressing as a new mayor, mayor, mayor <laughs> would immediately gain three VP and then make a decision as to whether to build a bank to obtain additional income or to build a library to gain additional knowledge. A bid for mayor. All players take their money into their hands. 
We have no money. I have money. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> then secretly choose any amount. All right. <laughs> um, and to their right hand on bid to becoming mayor. Once all players are ready to reveal the amount of money bid simultaneously, the player that bid the most wins the election. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Um, if there is a tie, only the player that wins the election must play their bid to the supply. All their players return their money to their estates. Once you have completed the bid, click to continue. Humble beginnings. The family had made their first... I get three VP. I get three VP. <laughs> One, two, three. Um, the family had made their first mark on the history of the town, for good or ill. It would be several years before they would understand the ominous ramifications of this decision. But it was clear that life in Waterberg would never again be the same. Which player was elected the mayor? Amelie. Set up direction for the town. Amelie receives three we did that immediately. Then they receive their mayoral ribbon token from the box. Oh. It's mayoral ribbon token. Okay. Yeah. So that's what they were saying. Like, there's some outdated language because on the back, there's a mayor coin. Mm -hmm. And on there, they the use token. mayoral ribbon token. There you go. Mayor. I'm a mayor. Look at me. Look what I can do. Burp, 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 burp. Okay. Um, then I can choose if I would like to build a bank or a library. For each visit to the bank, gain two money. And the mayor will also immediately gain one VP for building the bank. And for each visit to the library, gain one knowledge of your choice. Which building would the mayor like to build? The library. <sighs> Daughters entrusted. No. It was either the bank or the library? Mm hmm Personal library? No. Spawning stasis chambers. Wait, what's that last one that was in here? Oh, hold on. No, it says... But then it doesn't say to put out the, the library yet. It's possible. It's possible that it will in a moment. Hold on. I was going to say it's possible that they the language on there was wrong. During the heat of the summer, a handsomely dressed woman arrived at each estate with a letter in hand, and Tristling, a former business associate of their mother's, requested that their daughter be put under each of the house's charge, along with considerable stipend, to offset the coast. Well, the appreciable burden, it was un insufferable given the social mores of the time. Being 23 and therefore past the age of reasonable marriage, she accepted her new labors with somewhat heavy heart and was quickly integrated into the fold. Each player gained a servant, from the lost, place it in their quarters. I found it. Okay. What Servants are, are the circles? Uh, don't know. Yes, you already have all of, mm -hmm. both your servants. Uh, so go back real quick. So the bank is actually the wire service. Oh, okay. The library, gain one knowledge of your choice, is actually the bookstore. Okay. That makes it way easier. To be fair, they said they would. They would we have. We might get you. Yeah. Okay, okay, so which one do you want to you want to do the bank? Library. Library. Okay. Cheap. Library. Click to continue. Yellow fever. Late years. Turn to page three of the Village Chronicle. Damn, we're still in late years. We fucked up. <laughs> Damn. We should have <laughs> had the library <laughs> in town, but we did not. It would have helped a lot more. We were like, there was a library, and we were like, oh shit. <laughs> and we then, just said, and then after we died, we were like, oh, there's a library. We said, children, make sure you visit the library. The library is important to you. There, oh, the library is here. Why is the bank also? Oh, the reason why it didn't tell us to get this from the box mm -hmm. is because it was, it's just, yeah, that's to what I was page. figuring, but you, you got impatient, Molly. You got impatient, Jared. <laughs> the bookstore is where it's at. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, it doesn't okay. matter. We can, we the can't library has been built, build the hospital, whatever. You have the most at the end, so you already have yours. None of this, no none of that. that. Okay. Don't hit the orange. There you go. <laughs> Count. All the heart tokens and enter the total number here collectively. So I had six, you had ten, uh, five, so it's eleven. Eleven. Okay. Each and award the player with the most heart tokens by VP. It's you. I feel like we already did that though, or is that another five? That's another five. Okay. Well, then you get another three. 
Why do I get another thing? Because after you became mayor, it, the next page said to immediately give them... It said when you become mayor, you gain three victory points. Mm. Then the next page said same thing like that. Immediately get three victory points. Okay. Special setup. The player with the most heart tokens will keep one heart token in their quarters and return all other heart tokens to the box. All other players return all the heart tokens to the box. The, the player with the heart token is Erston. Remove all player pieces from the board. We did that. That was easy. Where are my other people being? This is your person. You stole my self? Um, return all dubious battering cards to the box. I never did this. Did you do oh. yours? Gain a heart token Bartering. when completing a chemistry type experiment. Uh, chemistry type? Mm -hmm. I didn't complete a chemistry type. Okay. Did you? No. Mine was different. Oh, yours is an estate upgrade. Yeah, you I was never. Supposed to build I should have. I've, I've gotten the estate upgrade. Who boy? <laughs> Um, return any remaining storybook component, storybook tokens to the supply. What are storybook tokens? The books. Mm. The village of Waterberg was, for the lack of a more appropriate term, agricultural in its funds, and like many similar small villages, were woefully unprepared for the ravages of disease. Despite the generosity or lack of their lack thereof. How am I going to edit this out, guys? Of the family. The church's already severely limited resources have been stretched to their limit in their distinctly unscientific attempts to stem the spread of infection. With no more do donations to call upon, the diocese turned to the local financial institutions for aid. The addition of the library to the already strained finances horrible mayor. of the village <laughs> proved insurmountable, and the church <laughs> failed to build a hospital. We failed to build a hospital. Uh, you failed. We failed. Your horrible mayoral leadership. <laughs> Perhaps the lifestyle of the of an aristocrat blinded the mayor to this reality, but it was certain that the village would progress down the darker path. Well, yeah, they remember all this. So this is the second this is the second generation. Okay. So we're gonna do each of these videos is one generation, which is essentially the life of uh, Ariston and Amelie, uh, whatever our last name is. They didn't really give us a last name. Uh, I feel like we should have picked the last name. That'd be cool. But um. I thought it'd be cool if we did a finally thoughts based off of just this generation. So mm. what did you, what uh, based off of what you've played. I'm really excited to play more. Okay, good. Cause that was how I felt. <laughs> I was at, as we started moving around, mm -hmm. I liked, you know, especially after we, we went through the 10 minutes of what we should have done beforehand. <laughs> yep. That made it way cooler. Cause yep. there's events that happen. Mm -hmm. uh, it reminds me a lot of another game that we played. Um, you didn't get to play it actually yet, mm -hmm. but, uh, destinies like you get to move around do things and it's like a narrative element but this has more interaction because you can like collect things start you know making potions and mm -hmm. stuff this game is fun it's real fun i'm giving it right now just based off of the first generation a four i'm giving it a 4.5 she was gonna say five you guys saw it maybe by generation two you might see a five in this lady or my might go up but it's probably gonna go up to a 4.5 not a five i'm not gonna get crazy <laughs> Uh, thank you all for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and check down below for more information about us, and look at our Patreon, because we got a Patreon, and we do cool stuff on there by the time this video's up. Bye. Bye.